Restoring vintage stunners, re-imaging dresses by refurbishing collars and sleeves, changing waist and necklines are some of the many ways to do this. Saving money might feel like a sacrifice, but in the long run there is much to be gained. I've got two gorgeous teenage beauty queens and fashion designer Scala with me to prove it. Raised in Deep Kloof, he's gone from designing for school friends to showcasing at Fashion Week. You guys make up a really good fashion squad. Look at you, Scala. What are yes. you doing? Putting together a glamorous outfit for these ladies. Oh yes, what you don't know is that these are actually old dresses which are going to be reinvented. You don't need to buy new clothes in order for you to look great. You know, you can take the old ones and revamp them and make them look new. Well, you ladies being Miss Teen Chwane, first princess of Miss Teen Joburg, I'm assuming that you have to go to glamorous events all the time and dressing yourself can become quite expensive. It is quite expensive and seeing that we are still teenagers, we can't afford to buy a new dress every time. So having people like Skylar helping, teaching us how to revamp dresses, I can go to as many competitions looking glamorous. Well Skylar, I am intrigued to see what you're going to do with these two dresses. I want to okay. see how you're going to judge them up. Most definitely. Let me show you. <laughs> the blue one. I was thinking we give it a belt and then we make it shorter at the front, more like a peplum kind of feel, and we make it longer at the back, and then we give it a nice pencil skirt inside with like a black lace and a navy blue kind of vibe. And then for the long one, I was thinking more of a slit, and we keep one string, and then we give it a cape sleeve, and then we give it like a cape kind of effect there, so they look more glamorous and sophisticated and very young and fresh. What kinds of materials and items would I use to refurbish a dress? You can use anything from your lace, uh, belt buckle, you know, beads, necklaces, anything that you can find that you see can be usable and look very nice, so you have more options. These kind of luxury materials can push the price right up, but do it yourself and you both save and learn a skill. Or find a quality seamstress to assist you. Scarlo, I am thoroughly impressed. I did not imagine a transformation quite like this. I'm blown away. Thank you. Thank you very much. The blue and the black, what I added was the lace. And I also gave it that silk chiffon underneath just to give it a sexy, more younger looking feel because it's a classic look. And I cut out the pieces of the lace and added them on top just to give it more of like an accessory kind of feel. And Phoebe? She's like a Greek goddess. So I gave her that long cape sleeve just to give her that more sex appeal, you know, and I also gave her the slit as well with a bit of a cape at the front just to cover up or show when she wants to. And that added, added extra um, brooch at the front just to make it more glamorous. How do you feel in your dresses? I love the slit, it's amazing. I know now that I can find new ways to take old dresses and make them into new ones. It looks new, feels new, and it makes me feel classy. Apart from DIYing a dress, how else can we save money for those of us who love shopping? Stick to black. Black is always safe. That black number, your jeans, you know, buy good quality jeans so that you can always accessorize them, cut them, you know, deconstruct them and all those things. And just avoid going shopping when you're stressed <laughs> because you spend a lot of money on those kind of situations. And yeah, just look after your clothes, you know, store them in a well-kept place and they'll be fine. Take these pointers and you'll keep your savings safe. Plus, you might well make some money doing it for others.